You can't tell me it's too expensive. You can only tell me that it's a stupid idea. Too dumb baby. <laughs> I love good NASA slander, man. That's fucking my favorite. With Willie Simon and Eric Freed. <laughs> yeah, I was like nervous to go into the store last night. Like I like stood outside for like a minute and be like, fucking new haircut. You're yeah. nervous. You yeah. know the, the people well, at the store? The, oh, oh, at the you know, comedy like, store. Anytime you like. I was thinking like the grocery store. <laughs> yeah, no, they don't fucking. <laughs> yeah, at the comedy store. Yeah, everyone's yeah. going to say something. Everyone's going to be like, ah. Yeah. And then uh, everyone was all, everyone was really cool about the haircut. <laughs> it was like, it was fucking weird. Usually like, over there, everyone's just like trying to find anything different about you so they could just fucking level into you yeah. all the time. <laughs> like, no, it's like, everyone was like, sick hair, man. Like, no, I'm it like, looks better. I'm like, this is weird. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bully me. Yeah. Be mean. No one's calling me gay. This is insane. <laughs> Dave Waite said something, and everyone's like, shut up, Dave. You look like shit. <laughs> I was like, start piling on Dave. <laughs> That's always fun. You do have to wait. Like, if you're going to take a shot, you better. Not yeah. have that easy shot back at you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Dave's like, come on, man. No, <laughs> no man, I'm just <laughs> No, I was just saying. No one else was saying yeah. he, just like a proud boy. he looks like a proud boy. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> proud of this haircut boy. <laughs> yeah, exactly, dude. <laughs> <laughs> looks like you could use some pride in yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Dave Waite. I'm still talking shit, dude. <laughs> Fuck you for that air comment, dude. Everyone else was cool. Dude, I posted a stand-up <laughs> clip a day or two ago, and uh, there was like f the first four comments were all like all about my hair. Yeah, dude, you always get <laughs> almost uh, every time. You always get the hair comments. It is a fucking crazy afro, dude. Yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's fine. Great. I get I love it. it, but it's just like I'm the biggest like proponent of it. It's effort. like they're commenting on it. Like I'm not aware. <laughs> That's what my hair looks like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you know we got a lot of hair up there. It looks Some, stupid. Somebody should tell yeah. that guy. <laughs> It's almost always bald guys getting mad. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. I know black dudes it. are always like, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, interesting. <laughs> I get I get both. It's either the interesting or it's like, yeah. hey, or it's like cool. sick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> yeah now yeah. it's uh Thomas Endershaw is the new door guy with the with an afro. Yeah. You guys got an afro battle. I know. A hair fight? <laughs> yeah, hair fight or break dance <laughs> battle or whatever people with afros do. <laughs> yeah, probably. Snowboard battle or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can be samurais too or something, right? There's a... No. Is that... <laughs> <laughs> no, like, that's wrong. <laughs> isn't there... <laughs> no, I think there were some 70s black... Uh, black... Plot... Black exploitation? Yeah. I'm like, the I can't afro, say afro the word. samurai, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like that was in there in the yeah. 70s. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> this is for sure seventies. Yeah, hair. I think um, I think Afro Samurai was like an anime. I feel like I watched that. Yeah, it was a new anime. It was like one of the only animes I've ever seen. Mid yeah, two thousands. Okay. Yeah, it was fucking sick. Yeah, it's this guy with an afro. And he's a samurai. You fuck. Have you seen the yeah. show? No, I haven't. I just, <laughs> just found out. About it. I think I've heard about it though. Yeah, yeah, it rips. Dude. I like when a title really tells you what you're gonna get. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, dude. <laughs> Don't make me guess. <laughs> Manchester by the Sea. I know. I know exactly where this is. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Can't quite guess what it's about, but I have a location. Yeah, but I do know where it is. That's <laughs> yeah. enough. Yeah, give me a who, what, where, when, or why, or something. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I need one of the five fucking <laughs> things. <laughs> What's eating Gilbert Grape? We're going to fucking find out. <laughs> We're about to find out, it sounds like. I like that that movie's come up again because you still, you've never seen it. Or know yeah, I still haven't seen it. it. No. It's, just a, it's just a title in your head. Yeah, yeah. I know Leo does like a, he goes full retard. Yeah, he does. And, uh, but it doesn't even like, no, he didn't wear anything for it. No, probably not. Yeah. You don't go full retard. Yeah, you don't go full retard. It's fucking timeless, dude, yeah. that quote. <laughs> it's good, yeah. Good, solid <laughs> advice. Yeah. <laughs> Stays solid advice. Um, speaking of going full retard, welcome back to Tudor Babies, everybody. <laughs> I'm Willie Simon. I'm Eric Friedman. We got a fucking hot episode for you today. It's where we riff about whatever the fuck we can think of. Yeah. Thank God the Willie same got a haircut or we would have had nothing to start yeah, on. I don't know how we would have done this. <laughs> I did get a haircut, dude. I went in, I gave my barber a picture of like this hot guy. I was like, hey, can you do this? And he's like, and that haircut kind of grows in, man. <laughs> he, was like, he was like really nice about it. <laughs> so you kind of need like a jawline. He's like, yeah, that's, uh, you know, give it like... 
we can do the first wave of it, then maybe the next <laughs> round it'll be like a little more full. I know, yeah. I've never heard Look, of it. That's how hair works. Yeah. yeah. No, I grew. Yeah, they all grow in. I grew past you, you dick. I grew past the haircut. <laughs> they cut it back to the haircut. Yeah. The fuck? <laughs> I'm not asking for a dye job. It's not like, yeah. I need round like a... two of this. <laughs> <laughs> it's like getting a tattoo removed. <laughs> like what am I fucking? Your your, uh, your barber's yeah. all becoming like a mechanic. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like how are you? How are you getting more money out of me for a haircut? Yeah. Just I listen. I know I'm not gonna look like that guy in yeah, that yeah. picture. All right. <laughs> you can just fucking. Say that. <laughs> As you change my eye color and face shape. I, just... yeah. I wish I could fucking pull up the picture. It's a hot dude. Yeah. I almost felt silly showing him the picture. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> You're, like, like <laughs> You're like, I felt silly because it was the background of my phone and there's a heart around the guy. <laughs> no, I was gonna be like, I was like, hey man, it's gonna be Look like this. <laughs> and they're like, no. Yeah, here, I'll send it to I'll send it to Mark right now. He's like, we're in Los Angeles, and no one can make you look like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a, uh, it's the guy, it's the hottest looking guy in the, all of these dudes. And there's, and also one of them's Ryan Did Gosling. Okay. Did you find but him? But it's not Ryan Gosling. Because I was going to show him Ryan Gosling. I'm like, <laughs> I can't show the guy Ryan Gosling. That's going to be insane. <laughs> That's like, He's probably seen it so many yeah, times yeah. recently, I'm like, Can I ever look like, since Barbie. Is there any chance I could? No? I know. it. I'm sorry. That was a silly thing to ask. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> the, uh, did, you, did you know the haircut you wanted and found the guy? Or were you just looking at a bunch of dudes? I'm just like, I just want haircut. short hair right now. Because my hair's been so fucking long, it's been annoying. Yeah. So I was like, I just need, I'm just going to short it up. And I just looked up short haircuts and it was like Liam Hemsworth. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, no, I can't do that. I can't I do that. <laughs> it's the, um, it's the guy in like the bottom right. Behind us. Oh, oh. It's that guy right there. Oh yeah. Yeah. See? Dude, he's that guy's beard. like a model even, for a haircut place. I can't haircut even grow place. a beard like that, dude. Yeah. I see what he means that your hair needs to grow in again or something. It does have to fill in though. It's got to right? like, yeah. yeah. He's kind of right. It, it what do you guys think? Did, I, did, did he get, did he get it? Did he ever look like that? Did he get it? <laughs> I think I may have used uh, that guy's haircut before when I had short hair. Like, okay. can you do kind of this? <laughs> yeah. That guy looks like a fucking, like a wax statue. Yeah. That doesn't even look like a real dude. Like, like an AI hot guy. <laughs> we don't even have real guys anymore for haircuts. Yeah. <laughs> there is something funny, though, like showing up. Because I'm always just like, kind of like, I just describe the haircut I've yeah. had. Like, I never want to show like, make me look like this more handsome man. <laughs> you know, it's always like, you're always taking a reach. Yeah. When you're like with, doing that. With my haircut now, I, I've, I had to just get it you at show the like, right point. You I show, show like me. Will Chamberlain. No, I show a picture of me. <laughs> I want this. At the right length. <laughs> it's, it's Dr. J. <laughs> hey. Can you real? make me look like this? <laughs> it's like dunking. <laughs> They're like, you know what? Actually, yeah. Yeah, actually, I, I, I can do this. I can't believe this. Yes, I can. I can't believe I'm saying this to you right now. Yeah, I was. I like um the barber I go to is also one of the uh like one of those edgy barber shops that let you drink. Oh yeah, mine too. I love it. Yeah, they're always like, hey, we're not we're not one of those gay barbers. You can drink here. <laughs> Would a gay guy let you drink? <laughs> like maybe, yeah, probably. I, yeah. <laughs> I imagine so. <laughs> yeah, I think they have a lot of bars and stuff. I think that's a big yeah, thing. I think that's a huge community. part of it. <laughs> I think they love drinking. You know? <laughs> yeah. Honestly, it's straight guys that are getting sober more yeah. so. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll go in to get. I, I'm getting my hair cut again in, in walking distance. Uh -huh. So. I like almost feel stupid not drinking sometimes, but I always go at like 10 or 11 in the morning. He's like, yeah, you want to drink or something? I'm like, I do, but <laughs> it was a little too early. <laughs> yeah. to... <laughs> I don't want to take a nap yeah, for this real. afternoon. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you want a shot of whiskey? You're like, dude, it's, it's fine. if we can just, you can just cut my hair, <laughs> yeah. man. I think it's just fine being here. You know? It's for the people who can't make the small talk with their barber or something. Yeah, yeah. Like, I guess I just gotta. I Maybe that's what it wheels. is. Yeah, I gotta. Yeah, I gotta loosen up so I can talk about how I'm an accountant or something like that. <laughs> 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 I 
That is true, though. Your barber's like, so how's your day going? You're like, all right, let me get that fucking shot. Dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How long do you think this haircut's going to yeah. take? How many Jesus need? Christ, just fucking look forward and cut my hair. I can do three <laughs> minutes of small talk. Can I close my eyes and pretend I'm asleep? Is that? Yeah. <laughs> now, the guy I go to is actually really cool. Yeah. He said, he found out I'm, I'm, I do stand up, and I was like, oh, God. Because he's like, I got some jokes. And I'm like, oh, God. Oh. But he's actually, he's a pretty funny yeah, guy. Yeah. He's not like fucking. Some people you find like find out that you do comedy and they're just fucking unbearable. Like, yeah, he's like just like he's cool uh, my, about it. <laughs> my barber's cool. He knows I do comedy and stuff, and he'll talk to me about like some other comics or like a podcast he listened to or something like that. But not not on like oh, have you ever thought about doing yeah. this or trying that? <laughs> he's like oh, I can have a real conversation with your normal person. Yeah, exactly. He also owns the business though, so it's like yeah, you know, you gotta be somewhat competent. And yeah, you gotta not know how to read people own. a little bit. Yeah, you gotta be able like kind of deal with people to own a to run a steady business. Yeah, I think. Yeah, that's the thing with being like a running a barbershop. It seems like it's a it's a pretty social job. Yeah, like you gotta like really be you gotta have people skills to cut hair. Yeah, you think anyone gets into it because of that? They're like, I just want to talk to people. I guess I could do that by cutting hair. Yeah, <laughs> or I bet more people get out of haircutting because they're like, <laughs> "Fuck, I gotta talk to this fucking." Guy. <laughs> <laughs> the same thing with like tattoos. Yeah, because you're just like hanging out with people for like six hours. Yeah, you gotta figure out something, right? And, and you like, and you gotta talk to them too to just like help help ease the pain of getting a tattoo. Yeah, I'd be like, "Hey, you ever heard this?" Uh, Six hour dream theater song <laughs> that'd actually be pretty good. I <laughs> music is nice, yeah, that is helpful for getting tattoos. Yeah, you know how many tattoos you've had to sit very long for, have you? Not really. I think yeah. the longest I've had is like a few hours. I think a few hours could be a long time. Is that a few hours like three hours, or is that like three hours? Okay, yeah. three's three's long enough. I feel like after two is when it starts to hurt, yeah. Yeah, but it was my arm, so it didn't really hurt very much. Oh, yeah. It was like the outside of my arm here. Oh, nice. It's that one. And that one, like, you can just fucking... That's like the uh, the birthday punches I grew up getting hit there, you know what <laughs> I mean? I'm like fucking blast it off, Tattooing dude. over black and blue marks. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, like, dude, Permanent black and blue These marks. nerves died when I was eight years old, dude. <laughs> Look, do you want us to incorporate this color into the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, if you can paint that skin color, yeah. <laughs> that'd be great. <laughs> you can get that normal. It's more of a makeup tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I actually don't want a design. I just want to... Oh, okay. I want to look like I have nerves in my arm again. <laughs> <laughs> tattoo some veins. Just... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's the longest you had? Um, I've sat for like four and a half to five hours on my chest. Yeah, that makes sense. And yeah, that, that chest one's pretty big. Sucked. Yeah, I did, and it was two. It was two sittings of about that length. And the chest, like fucking, you hitting like the. Oh, you it's hit the that. Worst. Whatever that middle bone. Yeah, yeah. Whatever the clavicle um, or some fucking no, shit. Clavicles up here. It's uh the. The sternum. Sternum. That's yeah. The one. I was like, oh fuck! I know. It. I almost called it the cervix. <laughs> yeah, it's not your cervix. <laughs> my bad. Right in the uterus. Not even cl close in in sound, I guess. <laughs> the hey, cervix well, would hurt to get tattooed. Yeah. In your defense, I feel like <laughs> yeah, any probably. of our any of our female listeners that got a fucking cervix tattoo, let us know. It's like getting your, your lip done, sort of. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're like thug life. <laughs> your pussy lips. <laughs> It's like South Side. <laughs> Stomach rockers are cool. Pussy rockers. Yeah, pussy rockers are crazy, dude. <laughs> Man, I hope the cervix is in the vagina. All right. Because <laughs> I'm not 100% sure. Yes. All right. Yes. I got a confirmation from Mark. <laughs> Phew. I almost look really dumb there. I fucking, I'm so stupid, dude. I found out uh, your ribs start up here like yesterday. What do you mean? Where yeah, do you think right? they started? Like down here. Right? You seem like they'd start here, but they're actually way up here. Did you know that? Are you just... Were you, were you not sure where your ribs all are or where the start and the end is? It's kind of like a little bit of both. I feel like. Yeah, I guess like I didn't know where they started because it was like like your one through like your one ribs were yeah, up yeah. here. Okay, I didn't, I thought they was like just all like here, and yeah. this was like a like a chest plate or something like that. Like I didn't really know. 
I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. <laughs> are you Iron Man? What yeah, that's why I was like, chest? well, because it's like, you know, your shoulder blades are huge. And so I was like, oh, yeah. maybe it's like. You thought it was just one solid bone right for here? Like, for like, <laughs> a, I guess I like never thought about it. <laughs> I was like, oh, fuck, your ribs are fucking up on your chest. Isn't that crazy? Doesn't that seem wrong? No. Like your ribs are on your chest? <laughs> It's that like they're like dislocated or something, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's right where the ribs should be. And it's like when you see a skeleton, you're like, of course the ribs start up high. Yeah. But then you're like, but my ribs, when I think of ribs, like you don't get punched in the chest and you're like, my ribs. Who says that? You're I'm, like, you get hit here. Yeah, you, yeah. You're like, my ribs. Yeah, right. But you know, you're not getting like fucking... To be careful about my ribs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, here, like, you know what I mean? Oh, like, I was writing my L1. Oh, my rib, yeah. L1, L2 just got <laughs> yeah. hit. Yeah, I mean, most people aren't that specific when they get yeah. hit, though. I mean, there's there's the whole, like, everyone just calling, like, all of your torso, your stomach, and stuff like that. Yeah, your too. stomach's here also. Yeah, you know that? Your stomach's here. It's, yeah. like, way up top. That's what's always hurting. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, dude, I think I have like fucking kidney, kidney disease. Yeah. No, it's not <laughs> like, like no, I'm just eating like My shit. Stomach hurts. Thank God. <laughs> I was like, I have like fucking gallbladder cancer yeah. or something like that. You're like, no, no, you're just eating garbage every day. You're like, oh, thank fucking Christ. Oh, I thought it was the drinking. This <laughs> yeah. is good. I thought it was dying. I'm doing okay. <laughs> I can take a uh, Pepto Bismol and I'm better. Yeah, yeah, I don't I'm need that. I need surgery or something. <laughs> yeah. Lifestyle change. I was scared to tell my doctor this was going on. <laughs> <laughs> That's always good. The like degree of lying to your doctor. You want to figure out. You're like, yeah, exactly. I don't want to tell him the whole truth. That, that's yeah, gonna, yeah. I want to know if I'm bad. dying, but I like don't want to know if I'm <laughs> dying. <you> yeah, <laughs> that's gonna stress me out, and that's gonna be worse for my health. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, if they tell me I'm dying, what is me knowing? You know, what does that matter? You know what I mean? Unless I, mean, I can stop it. Yeah, yeah. Unless I, I can like, stop it. I was like, sometimes, like, you know. Sometimes, I don't know if you know about modern medicine, but every no, no, once no. in a while. If I had, like, something, like, you know, early, but if I had, like, some, like, stage four terrible thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. I hope the doctor's like, the chart looks great. Have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> and I just go about, and I just die. <laughs> just I'm, like, the road. Yeah. Yeah. The chart looks uh -huh. awesome. <laughs> it hasn't spread anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Carry on. And I just die in the street three months later, fucking <laughs> and out of nowhere. <laughs> they, they have, like, a, they have, like, a, they just call in another doctor and lie to that one. They're like, yeah, he's fine. Just go let him know he's fine. And, yeah, yeah. But not just so they don't have to lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not a very good actor. <laughs> <laughs> so I got into being a real doctor instead of a fake one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> being a fake doctor, way more fun. Yeah, <laughs> I had to lie to the the vet recently for Larson because I finally got uh, pet insurance, and oh, nice. uh, and he had like a little bump on uh, on his butt that I didn't know exactly what it was, like by his tail, and I, I was like. It, if it's a pre uh, pre existing thing, then you know the insurance won't cover it. So I had to wait. And insurance kicked in, and then I went to the vet, and I, they're like, "When did you notice this?" And I just be like, "Uh, you know, not too long ago, yeah. and, about uh, 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 yeah, three and a half hours ago, exactly, yeah, <laughs> right when the insurance kicked in." <laughs> but then, uh, then they went to take a biopsy of it, and it like fell out and it was just an ingrown hair <laughs> that's hilarious <laughs> i was like i was scared for weeks of an ingrown hair that's so funny this fucking dog <laughs> yeah just pull it out yeah <laughs> like, you can't tell <laughs> <laughs> they didn't the vet didn't know either until they went to like that's a huge take a sample hair, of it and the whole thing just fell <laughs> <laughs> alicia was waiting in the in the waiting room i had gone to the bathroom and um the that came out and they're like do you get queasy <laughs> easily and she's like what? no and they just show her and it's just this weird little fucking growth thing oh that's weird that's yeah. funny was it like a was it like a full-on growth or like a hair yeah, no, it was like a little bump, like a little fucking damn. Like, yeah, a knot of skin and everything, like protruding from right by his tail. Damn, dude, dogs get some weird ass fucking bumps, dude. Yeah, I love a lumpy old dog, though. You know, <laughs> I know, I know. Whenever I'm like so worried, I'm not doing something exactly right for his health and how he's like not in exact perfect shape i just think of some of those old lumpy dogs and whatnot. Yeah. i'm like i don't know they made it yeah they lived to like 15 <laughs> yeah i <laughs> have a great time <laughs> yeah it's like with older people like you can't tell them to change their diet if they're still alive you know 
Yeah, exactly. Like, you can't be like, he should be eating better. Like, no, they made it <laughs> this far. Yeah. Some of it was fine. Never like a lumpy old man, though, you know? <laughs> lumpy old man's not good. Yeah. Means he's probably riddled with cancer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, night like a... Never like fun little fatty bumps. No. And I look at that cute old guy, and he's like... Bleh, bleh. <laughs> <laughs> I need medicine, please. <laughs> Ah, uh, healthcare system. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing works better than it, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm getting a. Uh, I'm getting my windshield fixed finally tomorrow. Hey, I, <laughs> it's been like two years, or something like that, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's been. What are you gonna do? Two, Being able to see it's that been well. Just over two years that I've had a crack. A, Across half of my windshield. <laughs> it was it was across the other half, so it doesn't bother me much. It's not in, it doesn't obstruct my yeah vision. And really. keep it. I almost have because I'm like <laughs> it's just one of those things. I'm like I'm gonna get this fixed, and then a rock's gonna hit my windshield again. Yeah, right. How um, much is it gonna cost? It's, uh, it's three hundred and sixty bucks. That's it. For that's, with a, that's with an eighty dollar discount. It's not and, bad. But one of the companies that comes to you and yeah fix it. They come to you? Yeah. For fucking 350 bucks? That's crazy. Yeah, not bad. You're postmating a windshield? <laughs> that's all I've ever done. I think that's what they are. You've seen those trucks that have just the windshields like kind of just no. lined up in them? You never seen a I don't think so, truck no. like that right by? Yeah, I mean, I assume if I ever did see one, I would assume it's going to like an auto shop. Oh, yeah. Not like a fair. guy's house. <laughs> <laughs> I know they sent me like a video. It was like, here's your video to prepare for your windshield getting fixed. I'm like, why do I have to prepare? You're the one fixing yeah. the windshield. It's like a colonoscopy. You got to drink a bunch <laughs> yeah. of shit. And <laughs> yeah, make sure your car has drank this gallon of water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to flood. No, make it sure isn't well really rested. anything. All it was was like, if there's weather, you have to provide your tech uh, some sort of protection from the weather like you you need a garage if it's raining or some sort of tent or something for them to work under okay <laughs> like all right <laughs> that was about the whole thing yeah that's really funny to be like all right here's how to prepare for your thing the tech's gonna need some water <laughs> he's gonna need some food he's gonna need some words of encouragement <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this, like, be nice to him <laughs> <laughs> be nice to your here's tech. how to treat your mobile windshield tech <laughs> yeah don't yell <laughs> These guys just get fucking yeah. shit on all day or He's something. Probably gonna be late. <laughs> they sent this video. They're like, please just have him give me a tarp or something. <laughs> I need anything just, for just have him not harass me for <laughs> yeah. long enough to fix the windshield. Don't grab his supple little ass. <laughs> <laughs> Your tech will have a supple little ass. We made yeah. sure of it. Don't grab it. <laughs> <laughs> He likes carrots, but he doesn't like celery. <laughs> Don't bring him celery. He won't eat it. Don't have our glass tech come out and lie to him and your windshield's not actually broken and then put him in your basement for months on end. <laughs> Please don't kidnap our techs. Like, has this happened Please don't a sell lot? our tech to, to yeah. Czechoslovakia. <laughs> To work in an ammo if, department, or ammo if, warehouse. If our tech does see a shipping crate nearby, he will leave. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't speak Chechnyan to your tech. <laughs> it will send him into a PTSD spiral because we rescued him from the front lines. <laughs> like, this is a long video. Damn, this is dude. a... Yeah. I'm learning a lot. Your tech has to be in bed by 7 o'clock <laughs> or else he gets cranky. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool getting a fucking windshield replaced dude feels like something that's something like even like the best car guy you'd still call someone else to do like if even I if know, i knew a bunch about so. like engines yeah i wouldn't be like all right time to fucking try try my hand in glass blowing or yeah. whatever the fuck, you know what i mean i'd almost rather an artist friend or something yeah do it like, yeah, you like probably a, know how to give set me like glass a stained better. glass fucking windshield. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, oh, sick. this is harder to see out. Of. Yeah, this is much worse. It, it looks just cool. like Jesus is in the outline <laughs> of you driving. Or... <laughs> guys behind, guys in front of you, is like, is that Jesus Christ behind? <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jesus isn't my co-pilot. He is the driver. Yeah, he's currently. Yeah, <laughs> he's he is currently... the main pilot. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's a good bumper sticker. Jesus is currently driving my car. Yeah, I'm drunk. <laughs> I'm drunk. <laughs> I let God take the wheel. God is taking the wheel. If, if you I have a problem with hammered. my driving, call God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kill yourself and go talk to God. <laughs> if you have a problem with my driving, pray for your safety. <laughs> Those are fun. Those are fun bumper stickers. Yeah. Yeah. Remember the bumper sticker craze, dude? Every time I see yeah. them now, they're like, they're all faded and sad. Like they're like, couldn't get the whole thing off their car. Yeah. I like expect five someone years to be ago. in their 50s. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They have bumper stickers. Yeah. I saw one where it was like, my dachshund is smarter than your honor roll student. But like the bumper sticker was like really old. And I was like, oh, that dog's, dog's, <laughs> dog's probably dead. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, man. I was like, bummer, man. That dog sure was smarter yeah. than your honor roll student. <laughs> My honor roll student's more alive than your dead dog. Yeah. I, like, dog. I don't care how smart your dog was. It oh, died. That's, that's got to be a 20-year-old bumper sticker. Bummer. Bummer, dude. <laughs> what a weird thing to brag about and, like, bully a kid. That's someone who's like, I couldn't ever have kids, so... No, I love those guys. <laughs> I think those guys are awesome. We're like, fuck your smart kid. <laughs> I think that's such a funny stance to have. <laughs> oh, your kid's an honor roll student? That's fucking dumb. <laughs> fuck you. Who cares? Because they're right. Just, Who cares? Just still being an adult bullying kids, so <laughs> yeah. he just never grew out of bullying kids. <laughs> or it's a former honor roll student being like, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't get you anything. I hope it's I'm, that. I'm a fucking electrician. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get sex. No one will date me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was on the honor roll. <laughs> I install glass now in cars. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I get a tarp. That's what I get. <laughs> someone I get a rain tarp. Someone has to hold an umbrella over me if it's raining. And that's what they <laughs> <laughs> That's what the honor roll gets you. <laughs> yeah, I was never I didn't make honor roll. I don't think I ever cared about honor roll. I think I did uh I did like four homework assignments and yeah. I and I graduated with honors from Forever. my high school. Ever? <laughs> yeah. In like my entire high school career. I don't think I did fucking anything. That's and I still good. graduated with honors. Yeah. That's, that's, how, that's not me being smart. That's the Hawaii public school system being terrible. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. That's how it was moving to Phoenix. My my school in Phoenix was so bad that it was just like, oh yeah, I can I can get by here. This is kind of a middle school. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> You just see kids I, like struggling hard and you're like, damn, dude. I saw teachers struggling hard. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is bad. <laughs> I had a, a history teacher who gave us like word searches. That rules. This is eleventh grade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got word searches in science class. <laughs> This is like 10th grade, yeah, like natural science. Yeah. And they're like, find volcano. <laughs> like, I don't think I'm learning science. Dude. Outside. It's outside. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's that one. <laughs> Maybe teach us about find the volcano. Find cumulus. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is a cumulus cloud? I don't know, but try to find the word. Yeah. <laughs> it's more important that you can find the word. It's misspelled than that you here. Know how. No. Maybe it is, but <laughs> hey, this isn't English. Okay? I wouldn't. This is... I wouldn't know how it's spelled. <laughs> this is science. <laughs> like, you're the teacher. <laughs> Truth is, no one knows how it's spelled. Yeah, <laughs> clouds aren't real. Uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're chemtrails. <laughs> clouds are created by the government to repress uh, feelings of good and uh, and hope. <laughs> I was just in. Uh... Ohio last week doing shows and we were driving by a big factory with one of the giant smoke tower things mm -hmm. and it was releasing smoke that looked like clouds directly into the clouds yeah and I was like I can't really tell exactly where one stops and the yeah, other dude. starts <laughs> but like that's crazy yeah they're making clouds that's yeah how clouds are made cloud factory yeah I didn't know there were Jews in Ohio. Come on. <laughs> only only for the time I was there. <laughs> Try to keep it very secretive. Yeah, keep it down. <laughs> no, I bet Craig had a field day with that. He's like, see? Yeah. <laughs> the clouds are fake. <laughs> <They're fucking> fake. <laughs> you said it was planes. Yeah, Whatever. Yeah. Planes, yeah, factories. Planes, factories. <laughs> fucking... still, we're still making clouds, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta eat clean. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. 
Clouds was a whole like, like that was like months of science class in middle school. I feel yeah, like. yeah. You just learn about like the different kinds. Clouds, too. rocks. Yeah, I don't remember any of them. That's all of them. Yeah, clouds and rocks. What else even is there? I mean, the specific ones. <laughs> <laughs> clouds, rocks. We're all grass. out of clouds or rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Two kinds of people in this world. There's clouds and there's rocks. <laughs> Which one do you want? Which be? one do you want? Yeah. <laughs> like, ah, I don't know. Is this is science class? <laughs> like, like a shitty yeah. entrepreneur podcast. Yeah. <laughs> there's two kinds of people in this world: clouds and rocks. You want to be the cloud, or do you want to be the rock? Cutting through the clouds. Rocks. Back down to earth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they can cut through clouds. It's like a comet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you That's know, exactly sky right. Sky rocks. Yeah, <laughs> asteroids. Yeah, those aren't good when they're <laughs> a little coming ones. at us. Yeah, those pieces that break off. Yeah, they fucking come down all the time, dude. There's a bunch of people excited right now. There's an eclipse happening in like uh, two weeks. Oh, yeah. The, I saw 8th. these Australians at the comedy store. Um, they're going to, they're traveling to the eclipse. They landed here and then they're driving out. To go to the eclipse party. It's going to be a big party, apparently, yeah. in Texas. That's how stupid people are. People just want to be able to stare at the sun. Dude, <laughs> honestly, man. <laughs> like, I just want to be able to stare at the sun. What lets me do that? <laughs> <laughs> how come I can't stare? You mean there's a chance. <laughs> My whole life I've been told not to stare at the sun. But, but this this time. I get it, though, dude. I would totally go to an eclipse thing. Like, Yeah. I'd stare at the sun. Why not? It looks fucking crazy, dude. Yeah, it does, I guess. It's like, you know. Like, ancient people were like, God is coming down. Like, holy yeah, fucking yeah, shit. God is angry. What the fuck is going on, dude? I'm still going to be like, even as like a, you know, even with all the things we know about it now. Yeah. I'd still be like, this is about that, that fucking thing I did three years ago. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Think it's happening to you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm being punished for fucking. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. Yeah, whatever I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. People are taking trips making all vacations out of it it's crazy yeah that, and then there is i think there's supposed to be a comet that you can see a comet and an eclipse yeah see dude i'm like i get why people are like the fucking a great warrior is gonna be born or the world's ending yeah yeah it's still now i'm like either a great warrior is gonna be born <laughs> <laughs> or this is a bad maybe open. a great warrior is gonna be born who will end the world yeah <laughs> there we go great warrior doesn't mean good warrior that's true <laughs> or like good person you know yeah exactly yeah a lot of great warriors not great people yeah i'd like to see what uh yeah like it's like definitely I, uh you know like a bit of Achille point i bet achilles was a little rapey <laughs> <laughs> I think you know? that's what like star wars was about <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> That was my whole, I was talking about that, that new bit I was working on about billionaires and stuff and the whole work ethic thing. Cause that's always what you hear. Everyone's like, they have a good work ethic. <laughs> like, yeah, that can be said about every horrible person through all of time also. Yeah. <laughs> what about the other ethics? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> what about actual ethics? Yeah, not much there. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but they, they'll work hard or at least make other people work hard. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's the whole. Yeah, most people who fucking have much money have just inherited it anyway. It's not like you're fucking... You just knew how to put it in the yeah, right yeah. place. You, you know already I mean? had a snowball that was pretty big. And yeah. You just had to keep picking up snow. <laughs> yeah, exactly, dude. It's fucking... Like, shit's easy. That's like a... I don't know. It's easy to get lucky in a stock or something like that. Or like, yeah. you know, you had... Or your yeah, most of them you just have to hang a... in long enough if it's a real company. Yeah, exactly. You invest in real companies that actually aren't going to just go belly up. Yeah. You just have to wait long enough. Yeah, for real. It makes money. And you know what makes it very easy to wait long enough having your money in there? When you have other money. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I've had to wait for some of the money that I have invested that was money I did not have to invest, I was hoping it would turn around quick. Yeah. And I've had to wait, and I've waited, and now it's, like, starting to turn into money again. But I was freaking out for a while. Yeah. No, totally. <laughs> I was dude. like, I don't have other money. Yeah. <laughs> I can't eat. <laughs> I can't eat dividends. Yeah. Or whatever. Especially when they're not much. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't put enough in where my dividends are more than pennies. <laughs> you're like a three dollar dividend. You're like, wow, how much did rich people get on this? This is crazy. <laughs> yeah, dude. Someone's I buying have... a yacht and you made three bucks. <laughs> yeah. I have six stocks. <laughs> I have six of those stocks. The person with six hundred thousand of it or whatever. 
Yeah. We should do an investing podcast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Neither of us know much about yeah. it. Yeah. You're still pitching <laughs> NFTs to people. <laughs> <laughs> Just us freaking out about investments we made. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> help, <"Bit>, help. <laughs> Bitcoin is, uh, is, is down, but it's better than it was, I think. So buy. <laughs> <laughs> So you should buy. <laughs> yeah. Buy me some. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is how invest. The best way to make money is if someone else buys something for you, then even if it goes down, you're up. Yeah. It's a, <laughs> it's a bear market, people. <laughs> so run. Bears are scary. Bears are terrifying. <laughs> you can shoot them in the head. They won't die. <laughs> Especially if they're on cocaine. Yeah. Flee. It's a bear market. Play dead. <laughs> <laughs> or get big and scary. I yeah. forget. Depend, Put, just don't run. Hide the food Actually, in the trees. Don't run. I think that's the one thing you're not supposed to do. Yeah, don't run. Yeah. They like chasing their food or something. Yeah. Who doesn't, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Matt's about here. Ooh. Um guys, this has been another episode of Two Dumb Babies. What a time. What a time we've all had. Um, you have any uh dates? Uh, yeah, I got a bunch of dates coming up next week. I'll be in New Mexico, uh, then Grand Rapids, Michigan and San Antonio, Texas in April. Um, check out ericjfriedman.com or at ericjfriedman on Instagram, um, or any of Craig Conant's dates. Cause that's who I'm going out with. I'll be featuring for them. Uh, they've been really good shows and selling out. So go get tickets. Oh yeah. Um, how many, um, thanks Mark. He gave us a little heart. Um, when's this coming out? Mm, possibly tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> well, then uh, come down to Irvine, California this weekend. I'm uh, I'm doing the show with uh, Mark Smalls and Jetski Johnson. Four shows in Irvine, 7 o'clock and 9 o'clock. It's going to be a fucking Those blast. We're all shows. doing 30s. It's going to be fucking awesome. Um, and then I'm headlining in San Luis Obispo next weekend. Um, Santa Barbara the weekend after... All California stuff right now, so just... Or actually, and then I'm in uh, New York, Detroit, and D.C. in April. So uh, come fucking check out some shows if you guys are in that area. And uh, we love you. Thanks for listening. Bye.